Hello everyone, welcome back to another Lemon Tech video. Today we'll be showing you how to set up the X Emu emulator so you can run original Xbox games on your PC. First thing you want to do is you want to come to X Emu app. We'll leave this website linked in the description. And what you want to do is you want to just download the X Emu application from here. If you're not running Windows, if you're running something else like Mac, you can actually come to download and there's a Mac version here. But for now, we're going to be using Windows. So you want to just download this. Now we're not done with this website you want to go to download and then you want to go to required files and then you want to select flash rom image and then you want to just click here to download that as well once you have these two downloaded you're actually going to need three more files um, that i can't really tell you where to get from you're going to have to go on google and get these first thing you want to get is the boot rom image and the complex 4627 files again can't tell you where to get these you're going to have to search on google and you will find them they're pretty easy to find and then of course you want to get a game that you want to run on the xbox and doesn't obviously doesn't have to be just one game you can get multiple but for this we just got the rom for the def jam fight for new york we'll just be testing that out first thing you want to do is you want to extract the actual x emu app what we're going to do is we're going to right click go on 7-zip and you want to do extract to x dot windows or whatever and then you want to open this folder you can actually get rid of the zip file now now you want to extract everything else so we're going to extract the hdd folder that we grabbed from the website and we're also going to extract this boot rom image once these two are also extracted you can also get rid of uh, these zip files and then you want to move these two folders that you just extracted into the x emu app folder now that you have them both in here next up you want to open this folder and you want to drag this complex 4627 file into the boot rom image folder next up you want to go in here and you want to just extract it you want to just do the same thing you can do extract here now we can get rid of this zip file as well now what we want to do is we want to actually set up the x emu app so if we want to just launch it it will tell you to uh, set up the machine settings so if we want to just go in here go to machine go to settings and we're going to have to set these files up now these are the files that we've just downloaded so for this one you want to go in here you want to find the x emu folder you want to go into boot rom image and you want to select this the mcpx 1.0 um, now it's going to say this at the top just ignore that for now for this one you want to again click on find file and you want to put your complex 4627 file that you just extracted next up again click on the find file uh, icon and this time if we go into the x emu folder this time we're going to go into the xbox hdd uh, dot q c o w file it's a very weird file but this is the one you need for that section and for the last one just leave that one empty so next we're actually going to restart the app by just closing it and then running it again and this time you'll see the xbox start uh animation which means that you're set up now now once we've done that before you actually jump into the game what we want to do is we want to go into settings and just set some things up first up you want to go on display uh now if you have a fairly new gpu you want to put this on vulcan if you have a slightly older gpu try OpenGL. For the internal resolution scale, you want to put that on times two. If you start having some performance issues, you can knock that back down. Now, these settings are mostly personal preference. If you wanted to have full screen, if you wanted to have full screen on startup, the window size or so the resolution. In our case, we're going to put on 1080p, uh, vertical sync enabled just so it can reduce uh, tearing and stuff like that. Now, for the aspect ratio, it will most likely run in 4x3, which is a square kind of like this. Uh, we want it in widescreen, so we're just going to set that to that. Now, in terms of input, all you really want to do is just select what kind of controller you have. And then if you just plug it in, it should just auto detect. So if we plug in the controller right now, as you can see, it connected the Xbox One controller and it's been detected. And that's basically all you need to do. Now that you've set up the display and the controller settings, you want to actually load the disk. So you want to go to your desktop or wherever you have the disk stored. Uh, we're actually going to end up using the NBA Street disk because there were some issues with the uh, Def Jam 5 for New York. So if you want to just load that up, you're going to notice that the game isn't going to launch straight away. You want to reset the, if you want to go into machine, you want to reset it. Then you will see it will actually start running the game.
as you can see now we're in the game so you can just play the game uh i'll i'll show you that the game works i guess that's right folks we uptown oh man guess who we have here today Irvin magic johnson 